Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This lesson is going to be on how to divide fractions. Now, before we get started, I'm just going to write down a couple different ways that a division of fractions might be represented. So, if we have four numbers, A, B, C, and D, we'll call them, we can write A over B, that's one fraction, and we can divide that by C over D, another fraction. One fraction divided by another fraction. So this is a division of fractions, and really, if you notice, this is really just one big fraction with a fraction in the numerator and a fraction in the denominator. Now this can also be written as the fraction A over B divided by the fraction C over D. Okay, now how do we go about dividing A, and A over B by C over D? Well, the trick is, is you just write down the first fraction and instead of dividing you're going to change this to a multiply sign and you're going to invert the last fraction and by invert I mean the numerator gets placed where the denominator is and the denominator gets placed where the numerator is so C over D becomes D over C we just flip it so let's illustrate that this works with an elementary example so we all know from grade school that 10 divided by 5 equals 2. Now let's write this as a division of fractions. We can write 10 as a fraction by writing it as 10 over 1. And then we can divide it by 5, which is the same as 5 over 1. So we've written this as a division of fractions. Now let's apply the rule that I just mentioned to you. So we rewrite the first term, 10 over 1 and we multiply that by 1 over 5, flipping the numerator and the denominator. Now this just becomes 10 over 5, 10 times 1 is 10, 1 times 5 is 5. But we can also write this as 2 times 5 over 5. So 2 times 5 equals 10, and then the 5 over 5 really just gives us 1, and don't forget your 1 here, this is really 1 times 5 if we want to be technical. And uh, this just becomes 2 over 1. Now, any number divided by the number 1 is really just itself. So we've shown right here that 10 divided by 5 equals 2. And we did it by representing 10 divided by 5 as a division of fractions, flipping the second term in using a multiplication sign instead of a division sign, multiplying through, and we got the correct answer. So let's do this with some other fractions. Let's do, we'll pick 3 over 4, and we'll just divide that by 9 over 15. Okay, so we write the first fraction the same way, and then we change the division sign to multiplication, and we flip the 9 over 15 and write 15 over 9. Now from here we can just treat it as a regular multiplication problem and we can break 15 into components here. So 3 times 15 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 5. Now we're just going to go ahead and leave the 4 the same. You could break it down if you want but you'll see that if you do that that nothing will cancel and we're going to break the 9 into 3 and 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So we, now we have two 3's on the top and two 3's on the bottom. The two 3's will cancel with each other. And we are left with 5 over 4. So that's your answer. Okay, let's write it in, the, in a different form now. This time we'll do 7 over 4 and we'll divide that by 2 over 7. So the best thing to do once you see it in this form is just go ahead and write it in the other form because it's easier to work with. Now we go ahead and we write the first fraction the same, 7 over 4, and we change the division to multiply and the 2 over 7 gets flipped to 7 over 2. And then we just have 7 times 7 is 49 divided by 4 times 2, which is 8. 
And I believe that is simplified as far as it goes. So that is your answer. We'll do one more demonstration and then I'll wrap it up here. <clears throat> Let's try 6 fifths and divide that by 2. We'll do 30, two, over, 2 over 35. Why not? Okay, so let's just rewrite this in a better form. 6 over 5 divided by 2 over 35. All right. The 6 over 5 is the same. We change the division to a multiplication sign once again, and the 35 over 2 gets put here, flipping the 2 over 35. Now 6 we can rewrite as 2 times 3 and then that's multiplied by 35 and 35 is really just 5 times 7. And 5 is prime so we write that down, 2 is prime, we'll go ahead and write that down. And don't forget that this is really all multiplied by 1 and now we can just go ahead and cancel, 2 gets cancelled with 2 5 gets cancelled with 5, so we're left with 3 times 7 over 1. And 3 times 7 is 21, and 1 is simply 1, but any number divided by the number 1 is just itself, so the answer is 21. That'll be the end of the tutorial. Um, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I will be continually putting out more tutorials, and if there's anything specific you'd like me to cover in math, please let me know. I would love to do a special video for you. Um, thank you, and have a great day.